Hello everyone, my name is Founder and in this video I'll be showing you a detailed guide on how to both use a controller on New World and how to map the controller's buttons to allow a console feel while playing. That said, I've played the alpha, closed beta, and open beta all while using a controller so I feel somewhat safe to say that I'm a controller expert in New World and will be guiding you with a lot of experience backing me. But before we get started, please leave a like if this video is at all helpful and of course subscribe to see more of my future New World content. Alrighty, now onto the guide itself. Let me just add that New World is completely controller friendly once you know how to activate the controller and map its buttons. Steam is by far the easiest way to use a controller on New World, so this guide will be utilizing Steam's built-in controller support feature. To do this, head on over to Steam and go into Big Picture Mode located in the top right of your screen. Now find and go into Settings which is located here. Then select controller settings and be sure to have guide button focuses steam, controller configuration support, and generic gamepad configuration support enabled. Finally, have your controller plugged in to see that it is listed under detected controllers like you see mine is here. Alrighty, now exit out of big picture mode and go to your steam library. Now once you get here, scroll over to new world and right click it, then go to properties. Under the controller menu, be sure that all of these settings are enabled. Once you have these settings, you'll need to launch the game in order to do the actual button mapping. Which means, starting from the very beginning, create your character. Once you name him or her, in this case with the best name ever, <laughs> start the tutorial. Once you get past the tutorial and you're actually in the game itself, you're going to need to press on the keyboard tab plus shift at the same time. This will bring up a menu where you will need to then select in the top right of your screen controller figuration which you will see right here. Here you will find Steam's gamepad feature where you will be mapping your controller, so get quite adjusted to it, you may be here for a long time. Steam's default button layout is poorly made, so I'll be giving you my layout as a base for you to use and change around to your own playstyle. My layout is missing the reload action for bows and muskets and the self-healing action for life stats since I don't really use any of those. However, once I teach you how to map these buttons, you can add these missing actions with little effort. Going into my layout, here's what each button does. Starting with the right trigger, this is your basic and heavy attack. Heavy attack being a long press, and the basic attack being a regular press. Left trigger is for blocking, which will always be a long press. Now going on over to the select button, this has two actions, which I'll be teaching you how to make later on in this video. The first action is done by doing a regular button press, which will bring up your menu navigator in the game. And the second action is a long press, which is activated when you hold the select button. This is my shortcut to access the inventory menu, which I use quite a bit while playing. The start button is my quick access to open the map. Again, something you'll be doing quite a lot. And I also use the start button as a long press action to activate sheathing and unsheathing in New World. On to weapon abilities. Left bumper is ability 1, the Y button is ability 2, and right bumper is ability 3. Left joystick is for both crouching and proning, which you'll use while doing PvP to sneak attack other players. Proning is mapped to a long press action. Now on over to the right joystick. This is for auto run, which is a huge lifesaver in this running simulator we call New World. And it's for consumable 3, which is mapped as a long press action. The D-pad is for switching weapons and for using your two primary consumables, which in my case while playing was health potions and health regen potions, which you can actually use at the same time for very massive heals. Now up on the D-pad is weapon 1, down is weapon 2, left is consumable 1, and right is consumable 2. Alrighty, all that's left now is A, B, and X. The A button is your interact. The B button is for jumping, and as a tip, I highly recommend turning on Auto Vault in New World settings, which works well with the Auto Run function. Lastly, X is for roll dodging, and as I already said earlier, the Y button is for ability 2. Now that you know what I mapped everything to, let me teach you how to do it yourself, which is very easy once you learn about activators. In this example, scroll over the start button and simply click it. Now in this menu, you map the action to the controller button you have selected. In this case, it's the start button, and we want this button to bring up the map when pressed. Now to do this, you'll need to know what key on the keyboard activates the map in-game. That would be the M letter on the keyboard, so that's what you should select. This will now bind the M action on the keyboard to your start button on the controller. 
Now, what if we want to add another action to the same button, like having the start button on your controller open both your map and sheath your weapon in the game? Now, to do this, hover over and select the start button like you were going to map an action to it. In the bottom right corner, you'll see Show Activators. Hover over that and select it to bring up this menu. Click Add Activator. Here, you will change the activation type to Long Press. Then, in this case, since we want to bind this action to Sheath Weapon, go to the binding and select X since that is the keyboard action for sheathing your weapon in game. And now that you've done this, this is exactly how to make two actions for one button on your controller, and for a future reference, you can always look at this video's timestamps to find this exact spot. And now that you know the basics, you can use these easy mapping features to go through and map everything to my layout, or to customize and make something to better suit your own build and playstyle. For reference, if you're looking to make something custom to yourself, be sure to go to the settings in New World to see all of the actions that you can map to your controller. All of that concluded, thank you for watching, please subscribe to see more guides, PvP and PvE builds, and legendary weapon, armor, and accessories showcasings and walkthroughs of how to exactly get these items. Keep the grind going strong, Founder out.